Welcome back to yet another fantastic video. Today is O string, UL string, unordered list string. I don't know a string. Where, where does this name come from? Really? No idea. Anyways, EX01 library. Write a program that takes a string and reverses the case of all of its letters. Other characters remain unchanged. You must display the result followed by a new line. If the number of arguments is not one, the program displays a new line. I've taken the liberty of including UniSTD because we are going to do some printing out. And we just have our main here. So like in previous videos, if the argument count is equal to two, then we are going to do something. It says we need to write a new line in the event of a result or if there is no nothing. So we gonna, we're gonna write it anyways. All right, so how should we approach this one? Okay, so all we're doing is writing the other version of the letter. If it's a lowercase, we're gonna capitalize it. If it's a uppercase, we're gonna bring it to lowercase. So let's use, we will need a counter, but let's put it here, I guess, int i, i equals zero. So let's use pointer notation. So while we say av1. So we need some if else statements to keep track of whether or not it's lowercase or uppercase. So if av1 is less than or equal to, no, sorry, is greater than or equal to a, and let's just copy this. So we're going to use it a few more times. And AV1 is less than or equal to Z. We are going to say AV1 um, minus equals 32. Now, where does that come from? All right. So if you look at the man back in the ASCII table, we scroll down to the decimal set. Here, it, uh, a little bit more. Here is where your lowercase letters, even more. Where are you? Okay, here's the lowercase letters, all right? So we need to go down. We need to go backwards to get to the uppercase. And the, the integer value between these, 97 minus 65, is 32. So that's where that comes comes from. So what we're doing here is we're just taking the value and reducing it to get to the capital letter. So now if we were to copy these, copy that line down, else if, we need to change this to capital A, this to capital Z, and then this goes in the opposite direction because we're going from the capital up. 32. <clears throat> okay. Now, since we have the AV value, the new value, we are going to write it out. And this is going to be AV1. That, and then we need to iterate the pointer. So what this is going to do is if this is a lowercase alphabet character, alpha character, it's going to bring it to the capital. And then this way, it's going to bring it to the lower, it's going to bring it to the lowercase, which is adding it. Now, let's see if we've got this right. We're just missing this. Okay, let's quit out of this. Error, and this is ulstring, ulcer, ulstring. Okay, now let's do a test. A dot out, let's do ABC. ABC, that's what we wanted to see. Now, let's do a, let's take these examples because these are all inclusive. We wanna make sure that it's including the spaces and the apostrophes and what else. And when I say including, 
it's going to exclude that, but it's still going to print whatever it is. That's why we have this here outside of these areas. We have to print regardless of whether or not it's an alpha character or not. So if we do this, paste that in, all right, and then we'll just copy that. And that looks, looks really good. All right, let's do another one. Probably don't need to, but better safe than sorry. I'm just gonna get out that again. Copy it. And that looks good as well. What if we don't give it a value? Get out, it's just empty. Yes, just the money sign. So there you go, all string done. If you like the content, consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.